This video shows how to set up Lidorama S3 Advanced Version, which is required for use with DMX. And the version we will be showing here is version 3.9. I'm going to go ahead and start the Lidorama Sequence Editor. And I'm going to go ahead and select a new animation sequence, just so that we don't have to select music. I'm going to select the defaults. And you'll see that when I come in, I have a controller set up already. In this particular case, it's set up as a Lidorama controller. Now, what I need to do before I even set up any controllers is I need to set up the methods that can be used for output to those controllers. So we're going to go to Edit, Preferences, Network Preferences. Now, the first tab we have is LOR. Now, you can run the LOR and DMX network. So if you have existing LOR networks, you would normally have a COM port here selected that would go to your LOR dongle. And you would run it simultaneously as if they're two separate networks, but just different protocols. In this particular case, I'm not using any LOR network, so I'm going to go ahead and select the port as none. I'm going to come over here to the DMX tab, and we can see some different adapters, and we want to select the Intech Pro, and the protocol is Intech Pro. And if you want to see additional details about different universes that are configured, you can see here the universe here, the first universe is configured. Now, a little information about DMX. DMX is configured into what are called universes. Those would be equivalent to LOR networks. You can plug up multiple LOR dongles and output to multiple different networks. And in the same way you can do that with DMX, you can plug up additional DMX controllers for additional networks. Within each network, we have up to 512 channels under DMX. So we have Universe 1 with this Intec Pro, and that will comprise 512 possible channels. So we're going to go ahead and click OK. What I'm going to do is go up here, and I'm just going to go ahead and insert. Now, how you'll do this depends upon your particular needs. You may be adding DMX to an existing set of sequences. So if you have your LOR sequences already configured, you would just come in and add your DMX devices. So here in this picture, we can see that we have two DMX controllers. They're controlled with the Acta dongle. And I'm just going to go ahead and add these two controllers in. Now, an RGB channel is three DMX channels. You need red, green, and blue to form an RGB channel. So we're going to go ahead and add those. Now, each of these two controllers here, they're three channels each, and they have three, chan three color RGB LEDs hooked up to them. So we're going to go ahead and say insert RGB channels, and we're just going to say above here. Now, we see what appears to be one channel, and you'll notice that it differs from normal channels, let's say on a LOR controller, in that it's black and it's got little red, green, blue off to the left. What we're going to do is go ahead and just uh, click it with the left mouse button, and I'm going to go ahead and assign it the type of network. So we're going to select the device type DMX, and because they're all together, it selects them all as DMX, they're all in the same universe, and now all I need to do is select the controller address. So one of these controllers is 123. So I'll just come down here to 123. And you can see that 123 automatically becomes 123, 124, and 125, sequentially creating the RGB addresses. So we'll go ahead and click OK. Now we have them configured. Now we are going to go ahead and play this sequence here. Now before you do that, you need to make sure that you do have the LOR control panel running in your computer and that it is functional. Um, you'll see something that appears like this and you can see that it's listening. What is happening is, is that the LOR sequencer is outputting data and then this smaller application is listening to that application, converting it and then outputting it to the ACTA dongle. So make sure that you have this running in your system tray and then it shows enabled with a little blue icon, not the red icon. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and go to play. We're going to make sure that control lights is turned on so that we make sure that we're outputting data. And what we're going to first do here is go in and set some just on off. So we'll just go ahead and say on. We'll just say a twinkle. And then we'll go ahead and put some additional data on here. So what we'll do here is put a fade from one color to the next. In this case, a red to a green. And we'll go ahead and play that. We can see the white twinkling and the red fading into a green. 
Now, let's say I want to add the second controller in here. I'll go ahead, right click, say insert RGB channels, and we'll just say below. I'll push this up here. I'll click on it. Now this controller's address is again a DMX controller. It is one past 125, so we have 123, 124, 125. That's the first controller. And the second controller is addressed right behind it, 126, 127, 128. And we're going to go ahead and put in some other. So we'll go ahead and put a fade. Ramp down. And then over here, we'll put in a fade again. And we'll go ahead and making sure that it's on control lights, start the sequence. You can see the two doing different things. And that's how easy it is to set up the Holodecoro Acta Dongle with Lightarama Sequence Editor version 3.9.